Hi church, it's so great to be with you here today. I wanted to share with you a passage that God has directed me to in these uncertain times. And also it's a passage that we've been studying with the kids here this month. It's Colossians 3. Our memory verse is 313, but I wanna take a look around the verse, verses 12 through 17. So I'm just gonna start by reading it to you. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. So if you look at the beginning of this passage here, I just remind myself, I have to remind myself daily of in this time of uncertainty, I am still called, called to put on kindness, called to be patient, especially called to forgive. As we look at our family now, and maybe your work life, your family life, who you're with or who you're not with, we probably need to ex extend a little bit more forgiveness to one another during this time. I especially like verse 14 where it says, above all these put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And that word harmony has just been reaching me lately as I think of how our world may look different, but how we can still be harmonious in Christ. Um, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, says verse 15. Um, the peace of Christ, this is a fearful time. And I just keep thinking back to the verse in 1 Timothy 2, 7 that says, for God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and of self-control. And I just think how can I turn my fear into power through Christ? That's what peace looks like. It is not from God when we feel fearful. Verse 16, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. And I just think though the word of Christ, like where are we getting our words? So in those times where you're just feeling uncertain and not knowing, Think, what has Christ told me? What is my identity in Him? And how can I turn to Him right now rather than feeling fear or feeling down about our times and worrying about tomorrow? Um, also, I know that for myself, I'm wondering how can I teach others right now? How can I admonish and lift up one another? We are in a time that we have so many resources at our fingertips for communication through the internet, like I am sharing with you here. Um, I also, Think the same about singing songs. You know, when it's feeling weird, when, whether you're at work right now or at home, turn on some praise music. There are so many outlets to do so, and I really believe that God will bless you when we just turn to Him and praise Him. Um, the last part here says, and whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. If you think right now, back to two or three weeks ago, what you were doing, it probably looks very different than what you're doing right now. You're not in school. You may be working more. You may be working less. Your business may look very different. But whatever we use our words, use those words giving thanks to God and use those words say, would, would I say this in the name of the Lord Jesus? And then our deeds, our actions, stop ourselves and ask, what, what would the Lord have me to do at this time? I don't know if you noticed, but three times throughout this passage, it says, give thanks thankful to Him. Give thanks. And I don't know about you, but in my prayer journal, I have a section for what I'm thankful for. And I noticed last week as everything just kind of went awry in our world, my list of thankful things I'm thankful for was longer than it had been in a long time. And I really encourage you, if you have not taken any time to physically write out, type out, even speak it out, some of the things that you're thankful for right now, I really believe that God um, is using this time in my own life to be thankful for what I have and, and hang on to that and trust in Him. And my hope for you is that you can do the same. Thank you for your time and hope to see you soon.